This is where the share tree grows naturally, in West Africa's savanna region, stretching from Senegal to Nigeria. Changes in the climate mean more frequent lack of rain and extreme temperatures, which is severely affecting the trees. In northern Ghana, many are dying, and others are no longer bearing the fruit, which has become a significant source of livelihood for many. We used to collect three or four bowls of shea nuts every day, but now we can't even gather one. This has really affected us. Our children's education will suffer. It takes a shea tree around 15 years to yield fruit. The nut is processed into butter for use in food and cosmetics. Scientists hope to reverse the decline in trees. They've been experimenting with grafting and are now growing trees that can yield fruit within a few years. We have started the domestication by planting these grafted shea trees. And it's a success story because if you have a tree that can start fruiting around 15 years thereabout, and now you have the tree fruiting within three to five years, I think it's a one-step success. Ghana is one of the world's leading suppliers of shea products. The country exports up to 100,000 tons a year. That's worth around $112 million. The government wants to increase that to around 400,000 tons. It's estimated that would bring in around $640 million a year. It's an ambitious target. Last year, the harvest was less than half what was anticipated, at a time when demand for share butter is surging. The global market is worth more than $2 billion. Agricultural researchers hope their breakthrough will help transform the industry in Ghana for the benefit of all those involved in the sector. Amma Boateng, Al Jazeera. Don't miss out and get the full picture. Subscribe to Al Jazeera for reliable news and expert insights. Like, share, stay ahead.